Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video doing the ECMDF 42 day forecast uh, for today's uh, first video. So we're going to look at uh, mean solar pressure anomalies, 500 mm high anomalies, temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next six weeks. It's going to take us to the end of March and I shall get on with that for you uh, very shortly. Just say we've got weekend forecast coming up later on as well as on Saturday. Uh, your weekend look at and uh, we'll have the 10 to 14 day uh, as always later on uh, this afternoon thank you so much to ecmdf.int for supplying the charts let's get on with it then so we're going to begin uh, with week one mean sea level pressure anomaly this is going to take us from the 22nd of february to the 1st of march the coming week we'll have a uh, high pressure across most parts of europe a large ridge of high pressure will be extending up from southern europe to northern europe there'll be a uh, low pressure out in the Atlantic and the upshot for the UK and Ireland means that we'll be drawing up uh, a mild or a very mild uh, southerly to south westerly wind low pressure in the Atlantic could provide some wet weather especially to the west this is how the 500 millibar height anomaly is looking for week one 22nd of February to the 1st of March again the above average heights from southern Europe extending to northern Europe below average heights out in the Atlantic and again, drawing up a mild or a very mild southerly to southwesterly wind. So temperature normally looks really mild, doesn't it, for most, of, part, most parts of northern and western Europe. For the UK and for Ireland, we're seeing a temperature anomaly uh, in those orange colours, uh, which I think is going to be taking us to uh, around 3 to 6 degrees above average, even warmer than that some parts of Scandinavia so a very very mild week to come uh, for Western Europe. Precipitation anomalies uh, look like this. Uh, East-West split really so uh, western parts of uh, Britain into Ireland look uh, wetter than average but generally dry than average in the week ahead uh, for uh, eastern parts of the country. Right that's uh, week one done then let's have a look at week two. This will take us from the uh, 1st of March to the 8th and uh, anti-cyclonic signals here with high pressure uh, from the North Atlantic into uh, the UK and then on into uh, Northern Europe as well. Uh, jet streams up here, so on the mild side of a jet stream, about ridge of high pressure. It could be quite a nice case of spring, uh, I would have thought. Although on the southern side of the ridge, we could be putting in some easy winds, but they're more likely to be down across France and uh, southern Germany, uh, really. This is how the uh, week two 500 millibar height anomaly uh, is looking. Again, just very anti cyclonic, a large ridge of high pressure sort of extending from the Atlantic into western and northern parts of the Europe as well. Week 2 temperature anomaly from the 1st to the 8th of March. Uh, cools down, not as warm as it, as it is in week 1, not as mild. Um, but even so, uh, to our north anyway, uh, it's above average. It's a little bit cooler than average to our west and also to our southeast. So it may be implying a little bit of an easterly coming in there, especially for more southern parts of England and Wales. But, but overall, it's high pressure dominated. So... Uh, you'd expect the precipitation anomaly to be uh, dry on average, which indeed it is, very significantly so. That's a dry week for the first week of uh, March. Um, and under the high pressure, of course, there could be cold nights uh, with frost, but by day, uh, with the ever strengthening, rapidly strengthening uh, March sunshine, uh, you could get some pleasantly mild days, even if the nights are rather cold. And I suppose that's why the temperature anomaly is a little bit lower. Uh, right, week three, uh, mean cell pressure anomaly uh, looking a little bit more unsettled here. The high pressure pulls out into the middle of the North Atlantic. Low pressure diverts to the north of Scotland. And winds go into a west or a, uh, or a northwesterly direction, potentially. So maybe becoming a little bit cooler and a little bit more unsettled there in week three. Not cold, but Perhaps a bit cooler. The uh, 500 millibar height anomaly again takes a ridge out into the Atlantic. Above average heights going out into the Atlantic. Below average heights form to our north. Going to be more unsettled, obviously, with low pressure to our north. And we bring in uh, a bit of a west or northwesterly type flow. Week 3 temperature only from the 8th to the 15th of March looks like that. Uh, so near normal or no signal really with precipitation. It's cooler than average uh, out to our west and northwest. 
the mile on average to the North East. We're very close to average, or we have no signal. It may be a little bit on the cool side with rather um, polar maritime type influence to the air. And the uh, precipitation only for week three uh, looks like that. So uh, just sort of no signal, really. But I would suspect a little bit more unsettled there. Week uh, four mean cell pressure only from the 15th to 22nd of March. Ever weakening signals. The further out we go, the weaker the signal gets. Low pressure is around Greenland and Iceland. That's the Azores high uh, just there. So it looks like we're probably in sort of a flat uh, westerly type pattern, although the signal is pretty weak. Uh, week four, 500 millibar height anomaly uh, looks like that. So again, low pressure. Or below average heights, low pressure towards green and Iceland. And again, probably bringing in something of a westerly type flow. The uh, week four temperature anomaly. Again, no particular signal. It is getting, uh, it is quite a mild week for uh, many sort of central western parts of Europe, for the UK, for Ireland. Moment, we have uh, no signal with our temperatures or with average. And um, there's no particular signal for precipitation either. Right, we go through to week 5, 22nd of March to 29th. Uh, high pressure then beginning to uh, build across the west of uh, Europe, pushing up from the south, sending a jet stream northwards. That could be very, very spring-like. That could be quite warm and spring-like there, I think, from the 22nd uh, to 29th of March. That could be proper spring weather, a very, very nice week of weather. Uh, there. The uh, 500 millibar height anomaly, again with the above average heights, the high pressure to our uh, south, and again the jet stream rising northwards. Temperature anomaly for week five goes milder than average in most northern and western parts of Europe. This is a very spring like uh, end to March, and the uh, precipitation anomaly, again weak signal, but hints at being drier than average, really. And then finally, we go through to uh, week six. This will take us from the 29th of March to the 5th of April. Ultra long range forecasting. Uh, no signal for mean signal pressure anomalies at this point. 500 millibar height anomaly for week six also has very little in the way of a signal to uh, work with. The week six temperature anomaly. Has no signal as well. Perhaps indicating going a little bit cooler though to our north and west. And the week six precipitation anomaly, again, no particular signal. So by the time we get through to the beginning of April, things are very, very sketchy. But before that, it looks like we're in for quite a reasonable march here. There's no sign of anything overly cold now. The northern blocking signals have uh, have gone uh, from the ECM. No northern blocking in any of the next six weeks. So no return to, to uh, you know, uh, really cold weather. It's potentially a little bit cold at some point through the first week of March as we put in a bit of an easterly, but nothing particularly dramatic. And this is looking like a relatively mild, maybe even quite warm, and uh, pretty dry and sort of anti-cyclonic type uh, March, to be honest. So, so a classic sort of spring March could be on the way after our teaser winter. Uh, which would time with other teaser winters like 2009 and 1978, and dare I say it, even 1939. So, what do you think about that? Let me know in the comments. Right, that's it then uh, for this week's ECMWF for today forecast. We'll do it all over again uh, next uh, next Friday, next Saturday. I'm recording on Friday night. We'll do it all over again next Saturday. Uh, actually, I think next week's will be on Friday. I think we'll be releasing this on Friday evening um, next week, uh, actually. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, that's it for this week. Um, got the uh, weekend forecast coming up for you uh, a little bit later on. And then I'll have a 10 to 14 day with all the regular features for the ECMWF uh, six weeks uh, forecast. Babe. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.